Hello, Dr. J here, and in this video, I'm going to provide a basic introduction to the Arduino Uno. It's one of the most flexible and most creative development platforms you can use to create interesting projects in a re relatively short time, and where artists can find an ideal way to create their interactive works of art quickly and without specialized knowledge in electronics. It was a project. Uh, developed in 2005 and it's all open source both the hardware and software so you can create quickly projects and again provides a fast learning curve for the non-techie and here's an example of one of the Arduino platforms um, this one is the Arduino Uno it's basically a tiny computer consisting of a con single board microcontroller again it's open source hardware and software so the free code the schematics, the design, etc., is all open source and free for you to use and develop your own projects quickly. It has a software suite to program the board and it's based on the Atmel AVR processor. The Arduino Uno also provides uh, numerous onboard I.O. support, input-output support, to communicate between the microcontroller and the external devices so you can interact with the environment. So there's a lot of uh, input and output pins uh, for you to interface with uh, different sensors and displays. Some of the simple uses of the Arduino include the use of a passive infrared sensor. Uh, you can basically use this to turn on a light for a period of time, such as a garage door opener to turn on the lights or you can use the passive infrared sensor to turn on a lamp when the light is low. Other uses include the use of an internet shield so you can s retrieve and send data through the internet using the shield and we have and the uh, Arduino Uno has a large supply of different shields to expand the capability of the Arduino. And in this case you can use for example to collect and retrieve temperature temperature data around the city or simply just monitor the temperature of an IT server room. Other sensors can be used to read and then output or control whatever devices you need to control connected to the Arduino. So basically the Arduino has an unli unlimited number of applications and the Arduino microcontroller serves as the brains of the system that you're trying to build. And you, again you can hook up to the input to this controller sensors such as a camera or ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance and the Arduino can output signals so you can display it on a LCD or control some motors for robotic applications. Other sensors you can hook up to the Arduino that's out there are temperature and humidity sensors and accelerometers a little bit more detail on the Arduino uh, board. It consists of a Atmel AVR microprocessor. Runs on a timing is based on a crystal oscillator running basically on 5 volts using a 5 volt linear regulator. It's basically a plug and play device where you can connect your Arduino to a computer and program it through a USB connection and then you can extend the capability with shields. So let's take a look at the Arduino Uno in terms of its layout here. First of all, we have the Atmel's AVR microprocessor. One side of the Arduino board up here are the digital I.O. pins, which you can program in software so that the pins can perform either as an input function or an output function pin. The other side of these digital pins are the analog pins where you can hook up various sensors. Here on the left side you can uh, hook up your computer to this USB connector. We also have a power jack that get, you can use to power up the Arduino board. To provide power to your external shields you have some 3.3 volt and 5 volt capability as well as ground. So that's your power supply located in this part of the Arduino board. 
and then you also have your reset pin to reboot your um, Arduino board. Here's an example of shields which can greatly expand the capability of the Arduino board. The first one is the camera shield. It has 640 by 480 uh, resolution, picture or image resolution, where you can create many do-it-yourself projects with it, such as building a digital camera when you hook up an SDK card shield. And when you hook up a wireless uh, Wi-Fi shield, you can make a wireless camera. And then finally, used in, in conjunction with a touch shield, you can create a barcode reader. The next shield is the wireless SDK shield and it supports micro SD cards and has a socket for wireless expansion modules. It primarily serves two functions. One, it works with XB transmit transceiver modules to create mesh networks and the second function is to store and access a large amount of data. The final example to show the expansion capability of the Arduino platform is the touch shield. It's basically compatible with thin film transistor or TFT displays. It has a resolution of 320 by 240. It consists of a four wire resistive touch screen along where you can use the volt where it uses a voltage divider technique along the X and Y axis to identify the touch position. And the TFT driver is used for 8-bit display and 4-bit control. Hopefully this video gave you an idea of how the Arduino can be used in an unlimited number of applications. And you can ex expand its capability uh, through the various shields for both sensor inputs and outputs in terms of displaying it with an LCD or controlling a motor for robotic applications. Signing off is Dr. J.